Okay, today we're going to have a go at using HTML to make a web page. The very first thing we're going to need to do is go into our file explorer, which we can get at through the yellow icon or by going through the recycle bin on the desktop. You need to go into your OneDrive folder. Now I'm going to use the one I've got here. And we're going to right click or click new. And we're going to create a new folder. This one's just going to be called website or web page. I'm going to use website. Now this is really important because all the content for our website needs to go into the same folder, which means that all the pictures, all the pages, everything we make can be stored in here, which means later on when we ask the computer to try and find something, it knows it's looking in the same folder. Now I'm going to minimize that for now because we don't need that anymore. We're now going to go on to Notepad, which is where we're going to be doing all our coding. Now Notepad doesn't open particularly big, we can make it bigger or smaller, but for now this is okay. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to Save As. Now, once again, we need to go back into that website so you can see I'm in my OneDrive. I'm looking down for my website folder. And the name of this file is going to be index.html. Now, index because it's the first file, it's the thing that the web browser is going to look for, and HTML because it's hypertext markup language. If I leave the file type like this as .txt, we'll end up saving it something like this, which won't work, the computer will get confused, that's all we. So all we're going to do is write index.html, change that to all files, and press save. We can see it's showing correctly now. Now this is great, except for when we want to come and open it later, and I go file, open, you can see I'm in the Emily folder, I'm in the website folder, but it can't see the file I've created. And that's because, again, it's looking for this text document. So I'm going to change text documents to all files, go into OneDrive, get in the website, and you can see the index.html. This is really important. We're going to have to do this quite a lot. So you're often going to be changing this to all files. Then I can press on that, and I can open it. Okay, I've actually got it open twice now, which I don't need. Now, this is where I'm going to do all the coding for the website. I also need to see what it's going to look like as a finished product. So you can see here, I've got index.html. It's bringing up Chrome, because Chrome's my default web browser. So I double click on this. You can see I've got a very uninteresting web page here. If I click on minimize, or I can pull it to one side, and I can pull my notepad to the other side. And now I've got my desktop set up in a way where I can do my editing here, and if I keep press refresh here, I'll start to see some output occurring here. Now, at the moment, there isn't any output, but I have got the start of a website begun, which we can work on further over the next few lessons.